Hi everybody! Um, I haven't made a video in a while and today is actually going to be a little bit of a special video. Um, and if some of you don't know, today is National Coming Out Day. Happy National Coming Out Day. Um, in honor of this sort of holiday, um, I've decided to talk a little bit about my own coming out story. Uh, and I hope I hope you guys don't mind if things get a little personal here. <laughs> so, uh, the first person I came out to was my mom. And it was not the best experience, and that has nothing to do with my mother at all. <laughs> um, I didn't know what I was talking about when I talked to my mom. Um, I had no idea what I was coming out as, so it was mainly just me freaking out and crying at her. <laughs> um, so it was not the most graceful coming out, uh, but bless, bless her soul. Uh, my mom gave me, you know, some of the best advice that I've ever gotten from anybody. And um, basically what she told me was, you know, don't rush into labeling yourself, you know, don't rush into things that don't fit, basically. She said, she told me to do some research and to really think about what I wanted and who I was um, and not to be afraid to ask questions. And that really helped me. Um, I, I had got the, a journal and I wrote down every, everything I was thinking about, every little, you know, shred of evidence that, oh, was I straight, was I gay, was I nothing, question mark, and I, I just wrote it all down there. Um, and it, it did help clear my head a little, but at the end of that experience, I still, I still didn't know, um, which was very frustrating. It was very frustrating for me. Um, but I persevered, and I did a lot of research, and I kind of scoured the internet for clues about, you know, some of the things that I experienced in my life to see if anybody out there experienced things the way that I did. And finally, I stumbled upon um, the orientation of demisexual, which I'd never heard about before. Uh, based, and when I was reading it, I was like, you know, this, is, this sounded good, but it wasn't quite there. So, you know, it was like a beacon in the distance, but I knew I had to keep going to climb the mountain. Um, so I did some more digging, and about a few months after my conversation with my mom... I finally found um, AVEN, which I believe stands for Asexuality, Visibility, and Education Network. And that was the first time that I heard the term asexuality. Um, asexuality was not something that I'd ever heard outside of like biology class <laughs> and single-celled organisms. So it was, you know, it was so far off of my radar that I didn't even think it could be real. But then reading the definitions that people had, um, the experiences that people were posting of their own lives, and looking at the statistics of the sheer number of people who identify as asexual, it was, honestly, it was the first time in my life I felt like who I was made sense. Um, I spent over 20 years thinking that there had to be something wrong with me. Um, I did not understand people. Like, I just didn't get what people were going through, especially in puberty. I was, like, so confused all the time. I thought, you know, why don't I experience the normal things that everybody around me is experiencing? And I felt really invalidated and I felt like I was going to be doomed my whole life into this confusing mess of who I was. Um, and I'm not going to lie to you, when I finally read about all of this and I saw that it fit with what I experienced so well, I cried. <laughs> I just, I cried for like a good 10 minutes just alone in my room reading this website. Um, it made everything feel better. Just everything felt amazing. Um, and it didn't matter anymore. 
that I didn't know if I was gay or if I was straight, quotation marks all over that, um, I felt so good having a name for something that is such an integral part of who I am for the first time in my life that I just said, you know, F it to the rest. <laughs> what does it matter if I want to date boys, girls, gender non-binary people? It doesn't. That it, didn't, it doesn't matter to me. Um, what matters is that I know who I am. Um... Yeah. <laughs> the second, I guess, since we're talking coming out, I should say the second person I came out to is my father. Um, I came out to him while I was still navigating these waters of identity. I'm not really sure what to call myself. I had just recently found out about asexuality. I wasn't comfortable yet enough with the label to assign it to myself. And so I gave him another very confusing speech about not knowing things. Um, and he was he was also very good about it, just like my mother... Um, they both gave me the space, um, you know, you hear so many stories about people's parents just completely rejecting them and how heartbreaking that must be, uh, but my parents, they made it very clear that no matter what I told them in the future, no matter what I said, they were always going to love me and I just want to come out publicly and tell them how much I appreciated that and how you guys really gave me the courage to be who I am, honestly. Um, if that reaction hadn't been what it was and I found asexuality, I, I don't think I would have ever said anything about it or explored it in any way. I would have been too scared. So, you know, I really credit them for that understanding that they gave me, which was really what I needed when I had so little understanding of myself. So, you know, I can't, I cannot describe to you how good it feels to be able to say something about myself, um, and not just today, you know, but every day of my life, and you, it's, it just feels really good to say that I am ace, I am asexual, and it doesn't matter, um, if I have a romantic orientation, or if I don't, and it doesn't matter if I choose to date people of one gender or another. Uh, what matters is who I am and knowing that I'm not alone in this world. Um, now, as far as coming out goes, I haven't done an official coming out um, since those two big announcements, really. Um, I find it more comforting and comfortable to just be honest with myself, um, to not fear speaking my mind, and to not hide who I am. So I tend to not make a big deal out of it, but I don't go around, you know, making it a big announcement to everybody I know. Uh, I guess this counts as my big announcement. I'm breaking that rule, aren't I? <laughs> um, yeah, so I, pr I pretty much, I handle coming out on my own terms by just not hiding anything. And if people make assumptions, they make assumptions. People have been making assumptions that I've been a lesbian pretty much since I was in elementary school, honestly. <laughs> As awkward as that is. So I'm kind of used to people making assumptions about my sexuality. Uh, it doesn't really bother me that much. It bothers me in the sense that, you know, people think just because I dress or act a certain way that I'm one thing. Um, and they don't take the time to, A, not care because it's none of their business for the most part. Or B, you know, just ask me and be upfront about it. So... I guess this is a good solution. Just put it online, Emma. <laughs> good idea. Uh, but anyway, God, this is kind of rambly. Uh, I guess what's really important to me today, why I'm, making, why I'm making this video for you guys, is that I really want people, more people, to know about asexuality. Um, not just my asexuality, but asexuality in general. It's, it does exist. And I, I exist. People like me, we're real. The statistics currently, I think, are one in a hundred. That's a lot of people out there, just like me. Um, and, you know, I spent so many years just floundering about who I was without a name for it, without any idea of what it was, without any knowledge that people like me were all over the world. And I can't, I cannot even fathom how much easier it would have been growing up, knowing what I know now. Thus how much more confidence I would have had in myself.
um, if I had had this knowledge as a teenager <laughs> instead of a young adult. Um, so today I'm making this video um, in part to sort of ask all of you out there, um, anybody who cares about me, that I want you to spread the word, sort of. I want you to, you know, mention to people that you know somebody who is asexual. Uh, I'm a wonderful, you know, friend or family member or acquaintance, random person you found on the internet through YouTube. Hi there. Uh, just, you know, tell people about us. And you don't have to go into big details, but if, some, if you hear somebody say something about asexuality or aromanticism or anything about that, you know, s speak up. Um, defend us. <laughs> defend your friendly neighborhood asexuals, because I guarantee it will mean to the world to us if you do. Um, you know, we're not just celibate. We're not broken. Uh, we're not confused. We don't just need to have sex or be in a relationship or any other whacked out theories that you can come up with. It's just who we are and how we see the world. Um, so really what this, what I'm doing with this video, it's not just a coming out video. It's a, uh, a plea to you to be open and understanding to everyone in your life, no matter their orientation, and to really get the word out about asexuality so that more young people, especially the young people, they have, that they'll have a better idea of what it is and a better chance of finding it for themselves if they are asexual. Um, I'm really, I really want more young people to have the chance that I didn't have to accept themselves at an earlier age as opposed to having to go through all of the stress and the confusion that I went through. Um, yeah, and, uh, you know, I guess as a kind of a parting note, if there's anybody out there watching this who's sort of afraid to come out or who feels like they can't come out or say anything about their sexuality because they're still confused about it, which is totally valid, it's fine to be confused about your sexuality, especially in a case like mine where you have no idea that your sexuality even exists, <laughs> uh, the best, the best advice I can give to you is to just believe in yourself, okay? Don't worry about labels. Don't worry about what other people are saying that you have to be. All that really matters is what you're feeling because what you feel is valid, okay? Even if there are not words to describe what you feel. Like, trust me on this, I spent over 20 years without words to describe how I felt and as awesome as it is to have those words now, you know, I'm, I'm starting to realize in my old age that I never really needed those words. I just needed to trust in who I was as a person. So, um, we're all here for you, and if you, you choose to come out, that's great, and if you don't, that's your prerogative. You don't have to. No one has to come out. No one should force you to come out. So, just as long as you trust in your own feelings and know who you are, that's, that's all that matters. It's really all that matters. So that got a little heavy. <laughs> I'm like completely incapable of taking myself seriously, but you know, I just, I really felt like I needed to say something and I thought, you know, why not today of all days? And as op open as I am about my sexuality, I figured for all the people that never got the memo or who I don't talk to enough, you can watch this video now and know all you needed to know. Well, not all you needed to know. Um, if you do wind up having questions about asexuality, I do encourage people to ask me questions. I understand that people who aren't asexual don't get it, just the way that I don't get people who aren't asexual. <laughs> I just, I don't understand y'all, I'm sorry, but you guys are like on another planet to me. So I, I get it, and I understand if you want to ask questions, I would welcome any questions you have to ask. You can send me a message, um, you can write a comment on this video, anything any way you want to get in touch with me. You can look up stuff online on your own. I would totally encourage that. Um, Avon's a good place to start. That's A-V-E-N. I will put a link in the description to this video. Uh, they're not perfect, but they're a good place to start. Uh, the best you can do is usually ask people. Every asexual has a different experience. So, you know, if someone comes out to you or you know someone who is asexual, just ask them. Hopefully they won't be offended. If they do, don't want to talk about it, they, won't, they don't have to talk about it, but 
That's the best way to get more information. So really, I encourage you guys to go out there and learn more, not just about asexuality, but you know about every orientation out there. It's, it's always good to know about people that aren't like you. It's always good to put yourself into their shoes and see what life is like from their perspective. So, you know, on this National Coming Out Day, I guess I will say goodbye from your friendly neighborhood ace, uh, asexual. And I hope that this video, you know, makes an impact in your life the same way that hearing that term made an impact in mine. And I hope that if anybody out there who sees this, who I don't actually know in person, happens to find this video, I hope that this video, you know, gives you courage, gives you good feelings, and makes you feel better about who you are. Because, you know what, that's the most important thing in life, is to feel better about yourself. Okay? Alright guys, it was really lovely chatting with you, so I'm gonna say bye now.